What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now you may well have noticed, but we have now hit 200,000 subscribers. It feels like just yesterday we hit 100k, but I don't know, you guys are insane. Thank you so much. Now to celebrate, I'll be doing a $100 gift card giveaway over on Twitter. To enter it, all you need to do is go and follow me over there. The handle is on screen right now and in the pinned comment. Now this giveaway will be five $20 Amazon gift cards unless we hit 10,000 followers in the next seven days. If we reach 10k followers on Twitter in the next 7 days, the giveaway will be doubled to 10 $20 gift cards. So it's up to you, you've got a real chance of winning as I'm giving a lot away, so yeah, go over there and follow me. With that being said, thank you very much once again, now let's get into the entitled parent stories. I was harassed and then an entitled mum demanded my crutches to cut a line. To start things off, I should explain why I need crutches. I was born with a couple different medical conditions, one of which caused my bones to to be weak and another causing me to lose sight in one eye. After lots of treatment and therapy, I was strong enough to walk on my own with crutches, but I still needed assistance with some things. I'm a-okay now with the exception of my vision. This happened literally the day after I was discharged. I was eight at the time. My family decided to take me on a week-long trip to a place about three hours from our home because it was very beautiful and not very crowded. So it was the perfect place to relax and get used to being outside. My mum had to leave for an emergency at her job the morning of our trip and took the car. This left me and my dad figuring that the most efficient way to get there would be by bus. We got to the bus terminal really early and hung around for a bit. About an hour before our bus was to board, my dad asked if I needed to go to the restroom. Being a little kid, I said no, but we went anyway. Going to the restroom happened to be one of the tasks I needed help for, so my dad took me to the men's room. Upon seeing my crutches, nobody had any objections and understood what was going on. I guess this person is a girl. We were just about to enter the doorway when I was suddenly shoved on my blind side and fell into my dad. My dad helped me to stand up and glared at who shoved me. It was a girl a bit taller than me standing in front of a lady who was staring me and my dad down. She had a scowl on her face I will never forget. The following conversation went something like this. Excuse me, why are you bringing a girl into the men's room? She should be in the women's room. Well, she needs help and she is too weak to do some tasks on her own. If she can't do something so simple, then send her to the hospital for them to take care of her. I was shocked and beginning to get angry at that comment. Instead of worrying about how I take care of my daughter, why don't you take care of your kid and teach her some basic manners and not to shove people? Your kid could have easily dodged it, or is she just that weak that a tap sends her falling? She is unable to see well and clearly is very weak, so... That's not my fault. She is a blind and handicapped burden to society. If you're bringing a girl to the men's room, then my daughter and I will be going in there too. Wait, sorry. How does that make any sense? Why would you want to go in the men's room? Here, the men behind and in front of us step in. The first guy says he needs to be with his kid to ensure her safety. You have no right to be here or to say anything about him and his kid. The second man agrees. You and your kid need to leave these two alone and go to where you belong. If it's the restroom you need, you both are old enough to understand that you don't belong in this one. After leaving in a huff with her kid, my dad and I thought it was over. He thanked the two men for stepping in and they said they couldn't stand by and just watch what was going on. Fast forward a couple days and we are enjoying ourselves on our trip. This location also has a small carousel that I was waiting in line for. The operator saw me at the back and kindly allowed me to cut the pretty short line. Once off the ride, guess who comes jogging up to me and my dad? The entitled mum. Hi, I know we kind of got off to a rough start, but I hope it's all good now. My dad chose to ignore her. Hey, come on, please hear me out. I saw your daughter got to cut the line and get on the carousel because of her crutches. Can you let my little girl borrow your crutches so she can cut the line too? Oh my god, I was shocked and replied, I need these to stand, I can't give them to you. Didn't your parents ever teach you not to be selfish and to share? We will give them back, I promise. She tried to snatch them from under me before my dad stepped in front of me to block her. After what you did to us last time, what gives you the right to even come near us again, let alone ask for the very thing you ridiculed my daughter for? Please, as a fellow parent, you should know how hard it is to give kids a happy life. Please, Lender. Yes, I know that better than you, and you surely aren't applying that idea to my kid. Back off now. She tried to say something else, but the ride operator saw what was going on and called security. 
They escorted her and her child away and that's the last I've seen of them Well, dang honestly the self-control your dad showed there is very impressive. This mum is extremely annoying I love how she's so entitled at first then says sorry and you think maybe okay She's all right, but in the end turns out she was just apologizing to try and steal the crutches like come on Moving on to our second story entitled mum slaps me across the face for defending myself from her aggressive child Yep, you read that right, but hold your horses. We'll get there in a minute backstory Both of my grandparents gm and gp come from very big families both with at least six siblings each if not more So as a result, I have a lot of aunts and uncles and therefore a lot of cousins They have three children and ended up with four grandchildren whom they dearly love more than anything else in the world Now I am the first grandchild they got i'm a male I was named after my grandpa. You can imagine that I held a special place in their heart They have always tried to be impartial and love everyone equally But you could tell that they love me just a little bit more My grandma happens to have a sister entitled grandma who is for lack of a better word a harpy She has a daughter entitled mum who unfortunately didn't fall far from the tree Both chain smokers ended up single mothers wonder how that might have possibly happened bitter and gossipy as they come entitled mum has a son entitled kid an only child at the time who as you can imagine had only one possible personality outcome with a family like that well uh, that is a lot of entitled people in one family that's for sure they often come to our house much to my displeasure to drink coffee with my grandma and basically fill her living room with smoke until you can't even breathe my grandma has always helped them in every possible way she could given them money without expecting anything in return cook for them when they could not afford food etc for some reason they never liked me and always spoke to me with a false simpery smile and a sweet condescending tone so of course i tried to have as little interaction with them as i possibly could so on to the story we're at a cousin's birthday party not the entitled kid but a first grade cousin son of my grandma's oldest child my aunt so a second grade cousin to the entitled kid but that's irrelevant to the story oh, okay me and my sister are there with my grandma the adults unwinding in the dining room and the kids playing together in the living room so we're in the living room playing with my cousin's toy guns and I get one of the nicer ones but the entitled kid doesn't like that so he tries to get the gun from me and by tries i mean he starts kicking me biting me and he tries to rip the gun from my hands screaming like a banshee in the process i being a couple of years older than him managed to keep the gun out of his reach by holding it over my head when suddenly i see a set of adult legs rush over to us and a much stronger hand just yanks the gun from me yep you guessed it it was the entitled mother the entitled kid in the meantime is still kicking and biting me so i no longer having my hands occupied by the gun use them to just shove them away with all my might and that's when i feel it wham right across the face so hard that it causes me to fall down to the ground i start crying and my nose starts bleeding all the room freezes and all the kids stop playing too shocked with what had just happened my aunt my grandma and my entitled grandma get alerted by me crying and run in the room my grandma sees me crying blood pouring from my nose and runs over to console and assist me the conversation ensues as follows what happened here he took the gun away from my entitled kid and then hit him i reply in between sobbing oh, that's not true he was biting and kicking to get the gun i was playing with from my hands and she came and took it away and hit me for pushing him away because he was hurting me liar ek would never do such a thing i always knew you were a nasty little pos who deserves some more beating so he can learn how to behave how she knew this i had no idea i have always been a skinny little runt who loves sitting in the corner reading a book or playing video games more than anything else in the world no predisposition to sports or violence whatsoever and got way more beating than a kid should between the bullies at school and abusive parents at home she then proceeds to hug the entitled kid and keeps hurling insults after insults under her breath at me at this point you can see a vein pulsing on my grandma's forehead she turns to my cousins and the other kids in the room and asks them what happened the kids obviously corroborate my story not the entitled mums she starts yelling calling everyone liars little idiots when suddenly my grandma goes shut up and my grandma never yells shouts or raises her voice so the entitled mum taken aback goes speechless my grandma's fury is so cold rushing through her voice it could solve the global warming issue by freezing everything over i have always helped you i have always 
given you money when you need it. But... My grandma raises her voice. I have cooked you food when you didn't have it. I helped you every time I could, and you go ahead and raise your hand on my grandchild for a toy? But he hit EK first. Liar, I don't ever want to see your faces again. Don't you dare knock on my door or ask me for a favor. You won't get anything from me, even if you were starving to death under a bridge. Get out. Get out. Now, we're at my aunt and uncle's place, not my grandma's, so technically she has no authority to tell anyone to leave. My aunt, she's silent. Not a word. Just stands there and lets my grandma do her thing. The entitled grandma and entitled mom look shell-shocked, but quickly grab their entitled kid, who is now crying, get their things, and leave. The party resumes shortly after that. The entitled grandma and her family didn't show their faces in my grandma's house for over six months. The relationship mended only after they came over to apologize to me and my grandma and brought some chocolates for me as an apology gift. Yes, they did need a favor from my grandma. How very surprising. Well, hey, anyone that raises their hands to a kid, in my opinion, deserves no respect. If I was your grandma, I would never let them back into my life after something like that, especially when it's not your own kid. I mean, that is just awful. Anyway, that is going to do it for this one. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. Remember, go follow me over on Twitter for a potential $200 giveaway, but a guaranteed $100 giveaway. If you want some more content from me, click the playlist on screen right now for my top 10 videos of all time. With that being said, I will see you guys all tomorrow with another video.